Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Well, you guys have been enjoying these team challenges, and we've really been enjoying playing the team challenges. So we're going to do another one today, but we're going to mix it up a little bit. This time, instead of three teams of two, there are two teams of three. So my team is myself, uh, the Serious Strategy Gamer, and Everyday's Different Gaming, and we are going up against Brother Monroe, Stealth 17, and Spartan Elite 43. And here's what we have to do. Each one of us has to focus on a different fundamental of battleship building. It's 1940 tech. The United States fleet is made up of two battleships, two battle cruisers, three heavy cruisers, three destroyers. We are starting at 20,000 meters. We have one battleship. Each one of us has to focus on a different specialization. One person focuses on armor. In this case, that is me. Uh, 15 inches of minimum armor on each section of belt and, and the front of the turrets. 7 inches of armor minimum everywhere else, including the top of the turrets. Uh, one person will be firepower, which means they have to have at least 18 main guns of 15 inches or larger. And one person will be speed. They have to have a minimum speed of 34 knots. Beyond that, we can build whatever we want. We can unlock all halls. We can be any nation. I've chosen Japan for my build. Uh, we get 20 points for each battleship we sink, 10 points for each battle cruiser that we sink, 7 points for each heavy cruiser, 3 points for each destroyer. They'll add up the total of our three scores against the other team's three scores. And the tiebreaker will be the total time it takes to destroy all ships. So in the event both teams score exactly the same number of points, it'll go by time. So let's dive into our full armor build. All right, so I went with this particular hull because unlike the other uh, super battleship hulls, this one allows for the smaller towers. Whereas a lot of them have these huge towers that take up the whole span of the ship. Uh, I forgot to mention, if I didn't mention it already, I don't remember. Uh, the max displacement we are allowed is 85,000 tons. We're allowed any hull, but that's our max on the uh, displacement. So uh, once I get those things in place now, what I want to focus on... Uh, we've got some really cool funnels, by the way, on this particular one. Um, we have to get the armor to the minimums that are required which this extended is what's really going to kill us on weight. Let me switch up to the Krupp 4 before I forget. Um, we've got to be at least 7 on the deck and deck extended. We're already at 15 on the turret face. Turret top's got to be at least 7. We're not going to use any secondaries, so that's irrelevant. I'm actually going to put the conning tower up to 15, even though it's not required. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of mains on this thing, and then a ton of torpedoes. And I may even add to this armor a little bit. Because uh, my idea is that I'm going to use the torpedoes to go after these guys. Uh, and I think I'm going to do it with the oxygen torpedoes, so I don't have to get too crazy close. Um, beyond that, might go with heavy shells. We're definitely going to want torpedo protection. That's a l that's expensive, though, in terms of weight. But um, that's where we're at. We're definitely going to max out bulkheads, anti-flood, everything that we have to worry about. Because we're going to have to worry about torpedoes. I mean, there's no ifs, and or buts about that. Diesel 2's got the lightest engines. We'll go forced... Actually, these are quite a bit lighter if we can get away with it in terms of the uh, engine efficiency. We can. Perfect. Um, so that's th that's where we start. Give me long-range accuracy. Give me radar. Actually, probably... What's the difference in weight? Ah, really not a lot. We'll go sonar 3. Give me good reloading. Uh, doesn't leave a lot of weight for torpedo tubes and guns, that's for sure. Increased torpedo rounds. All right, we're not going to do much in the way of guns. Uh, the guns are going to be mostly to deal with some of the smaller ships, honestly. 15-inch uh, guns with heavy shells. I think that's probably going to be enough. 
And I think I'll probably... Eh. We're going to put them near the center as best we can. And then it's all about torpedo tubes after that. I'm not going to do underwater ones because they're heavy uh, for what you get for them. Look at that, 49 tons for a deck torpedo tube versus 137 for the same thing underwater. So it doesn't make any sense to do it that way. Um, we're going to start with triples. And, and I'm going to spread these out just with the idea being what it often is for me, uh, which is that different numbers on the tubes allow for different reload times which give me the best flexibility I'm going to throw, if I can throw a 5 on the front here just because there may be times when I could really use one on the front I could throw a barbette here so I could get some more on the sides but I think I'm good I really do think I'll be okay. Um, how many torpedo tubes does that give me on a side? We've got a total of 5, 32 is 37, plus 24, uh, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So like 30 on each side. That's plenty. That definitely should be plenty. We're going to do increased amount on those. Can we go up to 24s? It adds a little bit of weight, but not much. I'm not crazy about my lack of speed, but that's okay. Uh, at this point, I may actually increase my belt armor even higher than the minimum that I'm required to have. Just because I think it'll add even more to that protection. I'm going to go Barbet 4. I wouldn't mind adding a little bit of speed to it, but mm, I just don't think I will. And I th almost almost go with the 16s, but I don't think I'm going to. Maybe a little more deck armor, just to protect against that plunging fire. Yeah, let's go there. A little bit of four weight offset. Doesn't really change it much to do that. Okay, interesting build, to say the least, but we're going to give it a try, see what we can take out. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Um, this is going to be tough. I'm not sure we're going to get them all. Not with this build, but I guess we're going to see if we can stay alive long enough to make that happen. We've only got 600 15-inch shells. So we're going to have to be cautious with how we use those. I want to get turned around as quick as I can here, but I don't want to get too close to them for fear of his torpedoes. What's the range on my torps? 22 kilometers. That's nice. Those oxygen ones have a nice range. I want to see what we're firing at. I want to be selective with what I aim. These smaller ships are going to be tough to hit with the torpedoes anyway. So maybe that's where we want to go with our guns. So far, so good. We have been hit. I didn't see what we were hit by. Uh, it was a 17-inch gun, so we know he's got 17-inch guns. Oh, that was two more hits from a 17. I'm going to have to get in close so he's hitting my belt instead of my deck. Nice thing is, too, we've got those torpedo tubes on the front. But hopefully we can get something in the water. Oh, and there's our first spread of torps going in. So I'm going to go ahead and switch now. What, we're, what our torpedoes are aiming at so we get a different angle. Not sure how lucky we're going to get right off the bat. But we'll see. I'm definitely worried about his torpedoes once we get inside where we're at right now, about 14 kilometers. That's a lot of firepower coming at me too. 
I might be able to take out a battle cruiser with long range shells. Somebody's got 11s. That's not the heavy cruisers, is it? Ooh, so much firepower. The heavy cruisers probably have the nines. I'm guessing the seventeens might be on the battle cruiser, and maybe the elevens are on the battleships. He's got quads, two up front. I'm gonna aim my torpedoes at him. Seventeen hit me for over pen. Oh, he got torpedoes already going. Why didn't I see that sooner? What's this here? Let's fire our guns at the Des Moines. He's got three guys over here too. That worries me in terms of the torpedoes. Oh, I just aimed torpedoes. I meant guns. There we go. down to 94% we haven't really caused any significant damage we haven't dealt any damage actually of any kind to the enemy so far he's starting to detect our torpedoes out here any chance at all we're gonna hit something oh there's a hit we hit the Des Moines with one any chance we're gonna hit him again no, nope, doesn't appear we will. Actually, that might have been enough, though. Oh. Let's hit him with the gun, see if we can quickly cause some more flooding. Did the Huntington get hit, too? Oh, yeah, he got hammered. He's, he's going down. I think that's enough flooding to sink him. There we go. There's one. Des Moines really close. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, I think Des Moines going down too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think we got him. That flooding's... There it is. That's two heavy cruisers down for the count. And I bet they had... Did they have torpedoes on them? Because that's really the main threat from those heavy cruisers. They did, and they actually fired them. That's who was firing torpedoes at me. All right. Good start. We're at 93%. We've got two heavy cruisers sunk. Long way to go. As long as these guys stay bunched up, then my torpedoes have a chance to be a little more effective. Let's try to get some at the Maryland, although we're not ready yet. Where are my mains aiming at at the moment? How about we go after the the Hawaii? Try to hit a battle cruiser with my mains. Des Moines was still detecting enemy torpedoes. That's kind of funny. Why aren't we firing? My main guns aren't firing. That's a little upsetting. How about we switch targets and then switch back? What is going on with my mains? A 
Let's try turning them off and turn them back on again. I don't understand. We're 12 kilometers out. There's no reason they shouldn't be firing. We got torpedoes going in the water, but no main, no main guns. How about we switch targets? Try that. Just got hit by a 17. Ooh, torpedo hit. Again on the heavy cruiser. Wasn't expecting to get them with torpedoes. And that's battleship. We got at least two on the battleship. Lovely. All three heavy cruisers are down. My main... Oh, and I just got hit by a torpedo. From a destroyer. Let's turn this way. Now our main gun's firing, finally. But I don't want to fire on the battleship. I want to fire on the battle cruiser. Heavies are all out. So we got two battleships, two battle cruisers over here. These are the destroyers behind me. It's actually ideal that they're so far away. Because it takes away the torpedo threat when I try to close on these bigger ships. The Hawaii just detected torps. What are the odds we're going to get a hit here? Uh, pretty unlikely. They're spread out and there was only a few of them. See if we can land some hits with our big guns. There we go. I actually might be better off firing at this guy because then I can get all of them, all six of them, going. But we'll stay where we're at for now. And the thing is, his destroyers, even if they were in range, can't fire on me right now because I'm between him and his main, his capital ships. Got a nice spread of torpedoes going to those battleships and we've got a bunch of torpedoes left. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hawaii's detecting torps again. And yeah, nothing that's really a threat. What about Maryland, though? Looks like one just missed him. Look at that. Oh, that was close. And of course, remember, California is taking a lot of flooding. Maybe we should be focusing on California with our guns. Actually, we should be focusing on them with everything until they're gone. We're at 81%. So get a, get a spread of torps going on them. We'll keep heading toward them. Mains aren't firing again. Darn it. What is the deal with that? I don't know. Let's let's turn the mains on the Sentinel and see what happens. There we go. So California, the battleships have 17s. The battle cruisers only have 11-inch guns. So again, not a huge threat, honestly. They do have torpedoes, though. Which the battleships don't have. But at the moment, anyway, I'm feeling, feeling comfortable. Unless I take a big ammo detonation or something. I'm going to stay trying to aim generally in this direction to keep my angle toward the battleships as best I can. One more good hit on California might do it. Of course, they just turned around completely, which means my torpedoes are probably going in the total wrong direction.
we've closed all the way to seven kilometers. We've got to be careful here because they do have torpedoes. He's way out there. Only 4% chance to hit. There we go. I'm going to rock back and forth just because I'm a little worried about the torps. Got another hit on the battle cruiser. Not doing a lot so far though. California started turning it. He hasn't. He keeps his course long enough. We might have a shot with those torpedoes. Got a little while before we can put any more in the water. You know what? I'm switching on the Hawaii. They're up close. They're a battle cruiser. I might get an ammo detonation and a quick kill at this range. Also got to watch their torpedoes. Oh, there's a torpedo hit. That might be enough to finish off California. Uh, it's still the same compartments, though. We need those forward two compartments flooded. Are my 15s not firing again? There they go. We're going to get any more. There we go. Battleship down. Lovely. Those are the big points right there. And that's a big hit on the Hawaii. Let's go ahead and switch our torps. Maryland. Did Maryland get hit? I don't remember seeing us hit him. But maybe we did. Let's get some torps on the Maryland. What did Maryland take? A ricochet and two torpedo hits. Okay. And here comes a bunch more, my friend. Oh, hello. Thanks for the uh, extended warning there, guys. We're going to take that one. Nothing I can do about that. I think that's the second one I've been hit by. And takes us down to 70% structural. And another one. Jeez. Thought I'd get more warning. Yeah, we're going to get hit by another one. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that was close. Got to slow down. Right, I'm going to go after the Hawaii now. I got a bunch of torps headed toward Maryland. I'm going to hope that's enough. Ooh, that hurt. 17-inch gun, and I'm broadside to him right now. So we got to turn. Let's take a moment to admire the sinking of the California. Man, look at that thing turning up in the air at an angle. I love it. That's cool. Okay. Coming for you, Hawaii. Destroyers, I don't even see them at this point. Alright, we're getting low on a couple of torpedo tubes, but not all of them. I don't know how close we are on the torps here, but oh, he's going to avoid all of them. Look at that. You lucky devil. He's not even turning that much at this point, because look at his engines. But he is going to avoid all of them. Meanwhile, I just saw a warning about some torpedoes of my own, but they must not have been that close. Any chance any of these are going to hit him? I doubt it. Well, maybe if he keeps turning that way.
All right, there's some more 15-inch shells landing. Ooh, torpedo hit on the one back there. Lovely, and a second one about to hit. Let's spread the wealth on the flooding. What kind of bulkheads does he have? He has max bulkheads. So I doubt we're going to flood the whole ship that way. Darn it. I wasn't... I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. We're, we're getting the hits. We're just not getting quick sinkings. Ooh, ammo detonation, baby. That helps. Not going to get him with the torps, though. My 15 stopped again. Looks like it. Anytime you want to fire, guys. Anytime. Let's put some torpedoes in the water against Maryland. Any chance any of these are going to hit him? No, nope, you're going to be right in between. At least the 15s are firing again. Sentinel's way out there. I'll be satisfied to sink Hawaii for now. More torps coming at the... Oh, boy. I'm not going to avoid that one. That didn't do much damage, though. It must have hit a part of my belt that hadn't done anything yet. Got a lot of torpedoes going toward Maryland. Let's see what the odds are any of them are going to hit. There's two! Not a lot of flooding, though. I don't think that's going to do the trick. And I don't think these other ones are going to hit. Come on, finish off Hawaii. He's out of out of the du double t uh, torps, but he's still got triples and quads. Man, this battle cruiser's got a lot of torpedoes. And Maryland's still got a long way to go. And the 15s have stopped again. There they go. I'm going to hope that a couple of those torpedoes are going to do the job. I'm down to just 54 of them. But at this point, I've done enough damage with my torpedoes that I should be able to finish any of these big ships off with guns, should it come to that. But we got Hawaii dead to rights. They're done. Four torpedoes. There we go. That leaves one battle cruiser, one battleship. Really wish... I could have finished off Maryland with some of those torpedoes. Because we're going to have to swing back around and come after them. Which is fine. I'm going to turn off my torpedoes for now. I want to let my guns do the job on Sentinel. Save the torpedoes to finish off that battleship. I paused for a minute in the recording just because I thought it would take some time to wear this guy down, but we have just nailed him with like nine or ten shells in a row. I found the range. It's only 31% accuracy, but I, I was landing two and three hits with every salvo. And no sooner did I come back from the, rec uh, 
from that that now we're missing again. But I think Sentinel's going down in a minute. We're definitely hammering them. Flooding all the way across the bottom. If it weren't for those max bulkheads, they'd already be done. Every single compartment is flooded. That's got to be enough. Yeah, I think we got them. Yep. All right, now we turn toward the last battleship. Everything goes for Maryland now. But we only have 40 torps left, so we're going to wait till we get close. And then i got to hunt the destroyers wherever they may be. Okay, so we have turned around. We're at 57% structural, 87% float. We've spotted all three destroyers who must be in the same general direction as the last battleship. If I could take out the battleship, honestly, the destroyers, those extra points, I'm going to just kind of consider them a bonus. You know, if they get me with their torpedoes, fine, but maybe I can get quick kills on them with my guns. But the main thing here is to get in close enough to Maryland that I can get a nice spread of torpedoes that he can't possibly dodge finish him off and then we'll try to turn the guns on the destroyers. We were at 23 kilometers when I turned toward him. We're quickly shortening that. You can see how fast it's going down. I've got 428 shells still so I don't mind firing some. Oh no that was him. I've got 234. Mine again not firing yet. Maryland's run out of ammo for their 7-inch guns, but those weren't going to cause me any problems anyway. Maybe we, we will switch to HE and get, get our main guns firing on one of those guys. Although the 15 still will not fire. I don't know what the deal is. Some kind of glitch. I mean, we're easily in range. 15.6 kilometers. There we go. Maybe they had to wait until they had a, at least a 2% lock. So using the HE on the 15-inch heavy shells, good chance one hit could be enough on one of these destroyers. So maybe we just get lucky. Down to 10 kilometers on the Maryland now. Which way is he going? Now he's pretty much stuck. He's not moving. So I'm going to turn this way. Turn the torps on. And get him in the water. We may be able to take him out quick. If he's not moving. We've still got... 22 left. So if I have to, I'll get in real close. But I'm going to keep going straight at him so he can't get lucky with those 17s. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, they're just dead in the water. Just a floating gun turret at this point. Yeah, we're going to hit them with one, two, three, at least six torpedoes. That's going to be more than enough to finish a ship that's already at only 26% float. Bye bye Seven torpedoes in total. Yeah, you're done. All right, we got both battleships. Now it's these pesky little destroyers that are left. And these torpedoes that I just fired, probably not going to do anything. We just have 10 left now. Well, those aren't good odds on the firing solution right now, are they? We're 
we're 12 kilometers out only 1.7 percent chance to hit I doubt he's even going to try to get close to me. I just got a notification that one of the destroyers was out of torpedoes on his two deck tubes or two tube deck uh, tubes. So, yeah, however you want to say it. So, they're definitely firing torps at me. So, I'm going to go ahead and start turning. But we're not getting any closer. It's still 12 kilometers out. I just can't get a decent solution on him until I get in close. There are his his torpedoes, and he had a huge spread of them too. If I'd have kept going the direction I was going, I'd have been in real trouble. So we'll go this way for a little while, and then we'll rock back the other way again. Okay, we're in close enough now that we've got an 11% solution, or we had. He hit me with another torpedo. I'm still at 54% structural, but I've got to worry a little bit here because we're awfully close for his torpedoes, but he's almost out. 5, 10. These guys are a little further. I honestly don't think he's got the firepower to, to sink me. It's just a question of whether or not I can sink any of them before I run out of ammo. I finally got into about eight kilometers out. Let's go ahead and keep chasing him. Until the smoke clears, we're not going to get much of a solution now. But once again, my guns will not fire. That's yeah, not even close. No wonder they're not firing. Come on, give me all the points. This is taking forever, though, so the hopefully it doesn't come down to a tiebreaker because I'm not helping my team in terms of the time right now. Honestly, if I could land one hit, it might be enough if it hits just right. 15-inch HE shells on a destroyer. They're so fast. If we can get going the same direction as them, maybe we get the second one. We can fire six at a time. But that means I've only got about 23 salvos left. Mm, thought I had a chance there. This is not working. I think we just may end up without the destroyer sunk. Which is still pretty good. We got all the high value ships. Just not perfect. Jeez, this is brutal. And I'd, I'd save my ammo, but I'm just not sure I'm going to ever get any closer to him. percent I ought to be able to get a hit every so often there we go oh hello torpedoes you know what forget it that one's gonna hit me I don't care I am a little more concerned about the other ones hitting me though and it looks like they're going to just take it and like it two more torpedoes are gonna hit me that's why we got that torpedo belt. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting all of that, though. That's a different story. We're down to 81 shells anyway. We're going to have to hit Gilmer at least once more. There's no way we're going to be able to sink all three of them. There we go. All right, we got one. About to get hit by three more torpedoes, though. That's all right. I'm not dead yet. I feel happy. 
I feel happy! Any chance we could get lucky with these last 78 shells and hit another one? I don't know. Alright, here come two more torpedoes to say hello. But the nice thing is that both destroyers are now out of torpedoes. The bad news is I can't catch him to shoot him. I'm 11 kilometers out. He's pulling away. And my 15s won't fire. Even though I've got a 5.4% chance of firing. For whatever reason, they just will not fire. I've tried being turning them on to aggressive. I've tried turning them off and back on again. Nothing will make them fire. So we may just have to declare this at an end, which is, I think, what I'm going to go ahead and do. So we got everything but two destroyers. Not a bad day's work, I guess. We'll see how my teammates did. Make sure you click on all the links below to check out how the other five did. Spend an afternoon of it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.